Well, hi everyone, welcome back to Shady Oaks Farm. So I'm gonna come back and revisit something. I built, you know, we built this pond and I think it was about a year later, um, I put in this fencing on the spillway. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna have to come back and revisit this because I don't have it wide enough. I'm gonna show you something here, just to show you why you should put one of these fences up. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. So if you look here, so if you look here, you can see water coming around there. So I need to extend this fence out up onto the hill here a little bit more. And then on the other side, walk around the other side, if I don't get my, I don't know, my boots on, and I get all wet here. Well, I'm not going over on that side. So you can see over on that side over there, again, the water is uh, probably coming around a good foot and a half, two feet. So I need to go up the hill a little bit there. So I need to add another three feet of this hardware cloth. And this is a hardware cloth. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but I'm going to show you what happens here and why you want to do this. Now, there's all kinds of fry that have gotten through. You know, we've gone through a spawn here, and you can see all kinds of minnows. I'm going to find some fry down here. And you can't see anything swimming down here. I can see some minnows in there, but let me go down here. I want to show you on this hill. Here we go. So, you know, what we've, what we've lost here and that's just a one, but I'm, I, there's another one there, you can see. So, you know, we got a fry there. That looks like a uh, little baby crappie. Come down the hill. So this spillway runs down this hill like this and goes down to the, there's a little dry bed creek down there. It's not dry today. We've had over five inches of rain. So that's why, you know, you can see my spillway out there, my uh, overflow pipe. I always make a comment in the overflow pipe that the top of that pipe is not where the water line is for my pond. The overflow pipe is inside that pipe and it's 14 inches below the top of that. So you can to give you an idea, this pond is 14 inches up right now. So um, that's how much water we have in this pond. So I'm going to walk down this spillway here. The emergency, emergency spillway kicks in if we get so much rain and we, you know, we've had one other rain while I've been on this farm here that uh, went over the emergency spillway. So here we go. Look at these fry in here. And I don't know how many I've lost downhill. Not that I'm going to pick them up. That's just the way it is. But I really came down to see if any big fish came over. But I think it's mainly just fry, which it's not a big deal. You know, I've got plenty of forage in there, but... I want to make sure we don't have it bigger. There's some bigger ones here. You know, look at this. Look at all the fry in here, guys. Man, everywhere you see. These all look like crappie, though, which is fine. But, you know, I don't know if you can see those or not, but that's just crazy. I get a little closer here. There's one that's still alive, you know. But look at all these. And the farther I go downhill, the more I'm seeing. There's some more. There's one there. You know, they're probably all alive. There's another one. You know, I'm sure some of them made it to the bottom in this little creek. And that creek runs into a bigger creek. This is a dry creek here, but eventually it does run into a, a running stream. So, and that stream runs into who knows what, somebody's pond probably. You always wonder how fish get into your pond. Perfect example. There's some more. There's some more over there. Haven't seen any big ones yet. Get down to the bottom down here, see what we got. I need to move this tree off this dam. A little looks like one of those darn uh, Russian olives. Yeah, I see there's some fry down here. You can see some flopping around over there. You know, I don't see a big fish that got out, uh, which is a good thing. But I definitely need to move that fence to keep those little fry from, uh, we don't come down here too much. There's my spillway pipe. I'm going to show you this little creek over here.
Now I'm sure if I look in there, there's probably a little fry all through there, but I talked to my neighbor yesterday and we had three inches yesterday. Well, his spillway went over and they were picking up largemouth bass that went over, you know, because the fish are going to follow the flow of the water, unfortunately. So he's out there picking up fish and so I suggested to him, I said, hey, you need to put a uh, fence up there with hardware cloth and that will keep those fish from going over your emergency spillway. And he's like, yeah, I never thought of that. So it's a good idea. If you have a pond, emergency spillway, there's my water coming out, full, full flow. I'm sure it's probably up in here at some point, but you can see this is a dry creek bed, but I'm gonna drive back in the woods here pretty soon and see where this uh, dry creek bed, what it's doing in the back of the farm. But we got some water coming out of here and that's gonna be running like that for quite a few days, or at least a day or so. Well, like I said, we got 14 inches of uh, over full pond. So you can imagine the amount, the amount of water it needs to come out of there. You know, it's funny though, I talked to somebody this morning that had a pond at church and they said they're two feet low. But my guess is, there's, a, there's one over there. My guess is that they're two feet low their pond's not filled by runoff and just rain. So, makes a big difference. I got so much so much surrounding hills here for runoff that my pond fills up pretty darn fast. There's some fry. I'm hoping you can all see this. But anyway, I just wanted to revisit, do a short video, and I might add to this when I go into back of property, but I wanted to show you why it's important to build you a screen across your emergency spillway if you've got something like this set up. As I said, my normal, my normal overflow goes into that pipe out there, but once it gets to a certain point, this spillway here is, is uh, I, sh I should say back there, it's probably, that's probably higher than 14 inches because this spillway is 14 inches, or, or it's above 14 inches of the uh, pipe inside there. So to give you an idea, the pipe inside there should be 14 to 15 inches lower. So, you know, it's probably more like, I'm gonna guess we're probably 16, 17 inches full pond. And so that's why I'm going with my spillway here. Cause it's set, once it gets past that inner pipe, not the outer one, then, you know, if it gets up to the top of that one, then we're way over, we're way over um, the uh, limit for the water in this pond. So we're, you can see the grass here. That's usually my shoreline. So I got two stumps out there. You can only see the top of one. The dock over there, just about a foot below the dock. So like I said, I've had one other time it's been like this, but uh, this is what I wanted to show you though down here is, you know, this needs to be fixed. I need to come out. So yeah, I need to come out where my foot is, right here. And then on the other side, same way, I'm not gonna wait across there, but the other side, I need to go off at least a good two feet on that hill over there. So I need to extend this. So, you know, the last one I had, I don't, you know, I didn't have a lot of fish in here, but you know, I can see, I doubt I can see, I can see a lot, of, a lot of little fry trying to get back in and they're not gonna make it. But I'm not going down here or coming to clean it out either though. They're just going to have to... That's a sacrifice they make for trying to go around the uh, the flow of the water, you know. Like I say, that water flows out and they're going to seek it. So, you know, we didn't lose a lot, but we still lost some. But you don't want to lose, you know, just think if I didn't have that fence there. You know, that's enough water, you know, it's deeper than this, definitely. And you'd lose some uh, bigger fish, you know, coming out of there. You know, some bigger bass. You know, I got stripers, bass in there. They would definitely seek that, but I like I said, I don't know if you can see this. There's some small fry in there swimming around. But, uh, you know, they're just going to probably, you know, the birds will get them or something will get them. There's some there you can see. Look like min little minnows maybe there. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around. So anyway, I just want to let you see that. Uh, That'll be something on my project list to do in the next probably few weeks. 
is come down here and extend the, extend those posts and uh, put new wire up there or extend the wire just put put some existing wire find this I got some more in the barn somewhere and uh, extend that out like I say a couple feet well, I'm gonna go and get in the UTV here and we're gonna drive in the back of the property and I want to see what the flooding's done in the back part of this property so uh, maybe we'll uh, turn the camera back on I'll show you so those dry creek beds I was talking about in the, in the timber back there, you know, uh, over my dam, that's what they run into. They run into one creek bed after another. Eventually it goes into a little stream back here. So some of those fish will make it. And who knows where they'll end up. But anyway, this is, uh, this is what it looks like back in the woods. I've never been back here on a big rain like this since we never had a trail back here. I'm on the new trail I just built. I can't go any further than I got right here. I go a little further, but I'm not going to. Um, we uh, we still got limbs across the trail up there, so you know, I never got finished cleaning it out. But uh, I'm wondering if the morels will come back out. You know, all this rain and you still haven't got really hot weather yet. So it's supposed to be in the 70s this next week. Probably just go morel hunting for my UTV. But uh, anyway, I just you just wonder if they're going to pop back out or not. Uh, no no reason they shouldn't. But uh, anyway. Um, I just want to get back here and show you what it looked like. I myself wanted to see what it looks like. But uh, um, again, uh, thanks for uh, watching. Um, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. Uh, but again, uh, we'll uh, try to get more videos out here. And uh, thanks again. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.